Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I want to swatch out this Michael Harding watercolor dot card that I got from an event with Michael at my local art shop, Evans Art in Dublin. And yeah, I thought we'll let's watch this out together. I wanted to open or I wanted to get the dot card out of the little bag, but I saw that the colors were stuck to it so I opened it up in advance and as you can see in some of the cases half the paint is stuck and the paper on the opposite side because they're honey binder paints so I guess it's not surprising that they would do that so I'll try and see if I can get these I can get the paint off here and use that this is um available as a as a set of four tubes the intro set and the colors in it are vivid blue scarlet lake light aqua green and yellow benzamidazolone and here this vivid blue is a mixture of pw6 pw4 pb15 colon 3 and pg7 so i guess it wouldn't necessarily be my choice of a blue for an intro set but I don't mind having the dot card available, the dot available, to be able to try it. It's a nice blue, that's for sure. I mean, if you are if you're a, a landscape paint, painter, it's nice for a sky, certainly. But. I guess on balance I would have preferred a single pigment blue prob probably and one with less white in it but still I mean it's a nice blue you can't argue with it it's nice then next is the scarlet lake light which is PR 188 and I'd say it's a slight, slightly cool leaning, but only very, very slightly. I mean, not nothing, nothing as extreme as Quinacridone uh, Magenta up there. Is that on camera? Yeah, it's just about. Those are my core swatches. It's a nice. That's a nice red. I do like that. I think none of these colors are supposed to have any granulation. Yeah, no, there's nose, lots of ends, so no granulation. Then next is the aqua green, which is a mix of PG7 and PB15 colon 3. be interesting to compare this with my Rosa Gallery turquoise which is also a mixture of PG7 and PB15 colon 3 I think and see how they how they compare I might do that at some point actually because they're kind of the, on the opposite spectrum of price spectrum of professional watercolor paints so it might be interesting to see how they compare. That's a lovely green though. Or turquoise. And then the yellow is the yellow benzimidazolone. That's PY151. Yeah, it's slightly coolish, but Only very slightly, so if you want to warm it up a touch, you can just add a little bit of the red in there and you can get a bit warmer. I mean, they're all they're all slightly slightly cool leaning, which is probably a good thing because it means you can mix very clear, bright colors with 
all of these together and well I guess I would be a bit careful with the with the vivid blue because of all the whites because of the titanium white especially that's in there that might that makes things a bit more opaque but I mean it doesn't look too bad here actually that's really quite nice so yeah they are all swatched out and I mean even though look look at my dots I haven't even touched these even though in most cases half of the dot ended up on the other side I still have plenty of paint left and there's still paint left for all of these except for the vivid blue I think I got all of that off and here they are again all dried after swatching it's been a couple of days since I swatched them and you can probably tell that the light has changed because I had to put on the daylight lamp but yeah here, uh, here they are all dry so this is what they look like and dry you can see there's not really a massive drying shift with all of these they dry a little bit lighter obviously but actually they're so they're really very very pigmented so that's really nice and i think as a little introductory set is actually not too bad i really like these three colors and i guess this is good as a sky color as well so it's probably a good intro set for if you're a landscape painter and as you can see here i've got some paint left and as i said there's really it is very super pigmented so i'll try and do a couple of small paintings maybe in my sketchbook to see what what you can do what you can do with these tray i mean it's going to be they have to be very very small and kind of simplish because there's not that much paint left but i do actually quite like it and if somebody came and said here have the Michael Harding intro set, I wouldn't be mad. So thank you for joining me and keep me company while I swatch these out. Please give the video a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoy watching people swatch and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now. Bye.